Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. We start with a heartbreaking update to a horrific crime. Yeah, the two-year-old child that was hit by a train in Pasco County has died. News Channel 8's Janet Jones has been on the story all day long. She's joining us now from the scene and so many unanswered questions, Janet. Keith, truly just a tragic story here tonight. That two-year-old was on these tracks with his 26-year-old babysitter, his four-year-old sister, and another adult. His sister and the other adult were able to jump in the water and get out of the way of the train, but the other two did not move in time. This is a tragedy. There's no other way to say it. Um, there's a family that is suffering greatly right now, um, more than anybody can imagine. A rail line and no trespassing signs. Probably not a good playground for children, but that doesn't stop many people. Isn't there down there at two, three in the morning shooting her guns and tearing stuff up? The train had 133 cars on it and was traveling at least 60 miles an hour. The train conductors were not expecting anybody to be in this area up on those tracks. They were trespassing on those tracks, and uh, that's what CSX is going to try to determine why they were out here. Why were they out there, and why didn't they move? That's what neighbors want to know. Well, if you're up on the railroad tracks and you can't hear that train coming from a safe distance, then you need hearing aids. While they should have heard the train coming, maybe they didn't get the warning they were expecting. Don't blow a horn unless they cross Jerry Road or Chancey Road, or if there's a cow that's gotten out. While there's a lot of unanswered questions, neighbors outrage that this is even a conversation they have to have. It's a shame that the adults didn't have better sense not to be there. All that aside, a two-year-old is dead, and Sheriff Noko hopes this is a learning lesson. Uh, I hope everybody in this community anywhere. If you got train tracks going through your yard, it's not a play area. The babysitter, 26-year-old Heather Henderson, is in stable condition tonight. I did ask if any charges were going to come out of this. They said they do not have that answer right now, but criminal investigators were out earlier today checking out the scene, and the sheriff did say that there could be charges coming from this. All right. Jana, thank you for that update. Uh,